Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today it looks like we just got the patch notes for the upcoming update thrills and frills and I haven't looked at it yet so I'm going to be reacting to this in live time and uh, I want to do it with you guys. Now if you guys do enjoy my videos or any of my content at all, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Just a little bit over 50% of people that watch my content every day are subscribed so double check and make sure that you are we're gonna have tons of content over the next week i'm gonna be making multiple videos every single day as we break down the update and also tons of live streams so ring that bell hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into this Alrighty, so they said we've got another free update arriving in the valley and act two of Disney Dreamlight Valley a rift in time for expansion pass holders are launching on May 1st dig into our latest patch notes here. So let's take a look at these. Um, okay, here we go. So thrills and frills update patch notes. They said, hey, Valley Villagers, it's time to kick off an exciting week in DLV with your seasonal dose of patch notes. Not only is there a free content update on the way, but act two of a Rift in Time expansion pass available to all expansion pass holders. Uh, will be arriving this week. We have a lot in store for you, including a new building that's sure to breathe new creative life into the valley, new ways to interact with friends during valley visits, even more Disney parks magic, and more. As with previous updates, we also have a wide range of bug fixes and optimization to share as well. That's really good because they, they didn't really give us a hot fix at all with the last update. We haven't had any fixes, but a lot of things ended up breaking. So hopefully they fixed up a lot of stuff. Now get those touch of magic designs ready. DLV Thrills and Frills arrives on May 1st. We only have two more days. That's so exciting. Okay, so new content and improvements. Uh, this is available to all players. It says, welcome another feathered friend to the valley. It's Daisy Duck. Complete new friendship quest and help this style icon rekindle her past relationships as you unlock new items. Ooh. So help Daisy open the boutique, a new building dedicated to sharing your personal style with friends. Display and share custom design uh, or touch of magic designs both clothing and furniture during valley visits. If you're looking for a way to find new custom designs to get other players' uh, designs, join my Discord. We have a channel there dedicated to that. Well, many, many players have already shared off their designs, so make sure that you join down below. Looking for another way to flex those creative muscles, drop into the boutique each day to help Daisy redecorate a corner of the shop or take on her inspiration prompts to earn exclusive items, including new Touch of Magic clothing and furniture bases. So we get just like a base version of the shop, but it looks like we're, we're gonna do weekly challenges to unlock pretty much new items and unlock like new spots in her shop upgrade it that is so exciting i'm so happy that instead of us just like getting the full-on shop we're gonna have to grind and work towards it so yeah it said drop into the boutique each day to help daisy redecorate a corner of the shop or take on her inspiration prompts to earn exclusive items including new touch of magic clothing and furniture bases so every day that's interesting okay it's time for even more at Disney Parks Magic. Our newest star path, A Day at Disney, offers up exciting new Disney Parks inspired rewards, including new attractions, dream styles for Daisy and Minnie. So we know who is getting the new dream styles. So Daisy getting one and Minnie from the star path. And they said, and a little uh, snacky animal companion among, among many other rewards. Okay, so this sounds like a huge win for an update. I mean, I'm very happy that the Star Path is a day at Disney. Getting more rides and attractions is just really cool. And it's going to help us because they put it in the game where we can now take pictures inside of rides, amusement rides. And that just makes so much sense to me because this is a Disney game and we want to be able to ride rides. And we're going to need rides to do that. It's also really nice because a lot of older players just they don't have any of the rides if you miss the previous star path so this allows everyone to have a chance at getting rides for their amusement park but they're also bringing them back into the premium shop as well so everyone should be able to have a chance at getting all of the amusement rides and i think that's a really cool thing 
Speaking of that, they said, please keep your arms and legs inside the attraction at all times. Ride many of the Disney Parks attraction available in the valley, including attractions from last year's Star Path, and take a selfie to commemorate the occasion. When optional riding attractions, those with motion sensitivities may prefer to switch to selfie mode for increased comfort by pressing the change camera mode button upon interacting with the attraction. All right, so I thought that it kind of seemed from the trailer that it was only like selfie mode, but it looks like there's gonna be multiple modes whenever you're trying to ride in the attraction. And uh, yeah, I guess that could be pretty jarring. So your camera angle is gonna be going up and then down. It's gonna change up how you can do dream snaps if you can do dream snaps in a ride because you're gonna have different levels of elevation and the angles that you can take your picture when you're in the ride. So that's gonna be very interesting to me that we get that, that feature. Villagers will now send you mail and sometimes even gifts on occasion giving you a great reason to check your mailbox regularly. Okay, so they said in sometimes even gifts. So it sounds like every day you're gonna get a letter in the mail from a villager and only sometimes are gifts. So I was wondering if this was going to be their way of doing like some sort of log on bonus every single day. I don't think that's going to be the case. And I wonder how many different variations from each character, like different prompts they're going to have. So, you know, you don't get bored with it and you actually have a reason to keep checking. I wonder if they have like tons or if it's just like one or two prompts from say Donald and then it's just going to be repeated every time he pops up. Uh, I'm, I don't know. It's pretty. I'm pretty curious about that. It might be a feature they could expand upon in the future. They said it's selfie time. All players can now use photo mode during valley visits. I still don't think you're going to be able to do dream snaps. Probably not. But the fact you can take uh, selfies with your friends or other community members is really cool. But it's not just your camera. Many of the activities you use during solo are now possible with friends, including fishing, gardening, mining, cooking, crafting, and if you've been to Eternity Isle, time bending. Oh, so we won't be able to be with our friends on Eternity Isle, but if we've been there and you have access, you can do time bending with your friend in the main valley. So that's really cool. Last update, we implemented some changes to the furniture mode camera that sought to increase performance stability. However, we saw that many fans missed the old camera functionality, so we've reverted this change, all while maintaining the stability upgrades. Increase the text size on the Nintendo Switch, improving a readability, and then express and reward yourself with a wide range of new uh, weekly dream snap. So they always include this in here, but that's pretty much just saying that we're going to have new themes for dream snaps. Uh, well, it says express and reward yourself with a wide range of new. Yeah. So I don't know if they're going to add more tiers to the level 10 since most of us just got our trophy. I don't think they're going to expand upon that. Now, many optional items are coming to the premium shop for a limited time, as well as some returning favorites from past Star Paths. We updated the premium shop to offer you an even better shopping experience. What this means is all weekly shop rotations are now comprised of eight bundles. Okay, so instead of every other week being eight bundles, it's all just eight bundles, so two pages now. It says preview clothing on your avatar before buying it. Thank you, because remember when we all bought the little like tiny micro wings for our back, like for the back piece, and we didn't know that they were so small. So now you can actually preview what you're buying, which is huge because that's something most games already have. And I've been shocked that DLV didn't have it, but now we finally do. Get a better look at the special animations of items may have uh, thanks to the revolving preview display. Okay, so they did, you know, revamp the premium shop, I hope. They would lower the moonstone prices a little bit toggle between day and night were applicable to get a better idea of how an item will look in the valley before buying so is it going to allow us to like actually kind of place it down interesting please note dlv arcade edition does not include seasonal star paths or the premium shop yeah so if you're on mobile you don't have access to that Alrighty, so here we go. New content for the expansion pass. So this stuff right here, if you don't own a Rift in Time, you won't have access to it. Welcome a very lucky new pal to Eternity Isle and the Valley. Oswald makes his grand entrance alongside new friendship quests and new unique items to unlock. 
pick up where the story I ripped in time left off as you dive into act two, the spark of imagination. So that's really exciting. You know, at the end of part one, when Jafar, you know, disappeared, it looks like we are going to continue his story. I don't know how long it's going to be because like how many quests are they going to give to Jafar? I'm hoping it's going to last a while, not be just a few quests, but if not, you know, we still have lots of other content, so it's okay. I feel like they're going to leave us on another huge cliffhanger, but I'm so excited to continue that story. And then we'll have part three that will be coming out in the summer. They said, use your hard earned mist to upgrade at the Royal Hourglass to level four, unlocking the following. We're going to get new ancient parts to collect new furniture to craft at the time bending station, and new fragments and their associated furniture items inspired by iconic Disney and Pixar stories to craft including Disney and Pixar's Ratatouille Metro entrance. Okay, so that's really exciting there. So we're going to have to level it up. It looked like it was going to be 20,000 mists to level up to level 4. So make sure you guys do have a good amount of mists before you jump into this update. They said take control of the new dismantle and upcycle feature at the hold up. Take control of the new dismantle and upcycle feature at the time bending station to repurpose old ancient parts, fragments, gifts, and ancient cores into currency that you can spend to craft other items within these categories. So now we have a reason for our extra treasures and everything. Your ancient cores, if you have a bunch, you can now like break it down into those little like uh, it had like different mist currencies and you can use that to craft these things. That is awesome. I just need them now to allow us to actually break down regular furniture pieces into raw materials like sticks, uh, iron and things like that. But that's pretty cool for the DLC owners for sure. It says make friends with new variants of the Animal Companion Wandering Eternity, albeit with a monochromatic flare so they are going to be new companions on the map that we're going to have to go and tame some of us didn't know if we were just going to get the new skin type form or if they were like completely all new together and it looks like they are and then collect new scramble coin figurines that offer up new powers and strategies to master including mike wazowski and oswald we're getting an oswald scramble coin piece let's go Man, let's take a look at a lot of these changes. So they fixed a Breaking Bones quest, fixed an issue where the Lion Claw might not spawn. They fixed the quest Eye on the Prize, Bibbidi Bobbidi, uh, oops. Germs abound, so fix an issue where some players couldn't pick up Mike's contact lens. Yeah, that was on the beach, and I had to use a shovel to dig mine up. They also fixed the quest Lost Loves and Missing Memories. It's the one without Kristoff's climbing gear, lasers and crafts. Fix an issue where the craters would not appear. Friendship is everything got a huge fix. The Chronicles of the Ancient quest. The Pumpkin King Returns quest. A story to tell quest. Something comes a knocking. Looks like they fixed a lot of like game breaking bugs which is exciting. Let's see they adjusted the texture on the lounge pillows. Fix an issue of Mac players couldn't connect to online. A confirmation pop up would not appear when purchasing furniture. Fix an issue in which one of Gaston's journal entries would not spawn. Uh, Christoph's stall would disappear. Crafted items would be missing from the collection menu. Transaction error when attempting to purchase from Scrooge's shop. Fix an issue where players could have been given a in, uh, invalid five digit code for valley visits. Memory shards were not being able to be picked up. So it doesn't sound like anything major here. Like with the, the camera or anything like that, but lots of like actual quest bugs are fixed and I'm sure they're going to have other stuff as well. Let's see, an issue in which doors would disappear from a player's house. So I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, that has never happened to me, but interesting. All right, so overall, in short, unless they have more content within the update, which they usually do than what they show on the patch notes. The patch notes is showing we're getting Daisy Duck. The new store, the boutique with weekly, possibly daily challenges. We're getting uh, where you can ride in the rides, mail in your mailbox every day, it fixed up the camera mode, and that might be it. And then updated premium shop menus. 
And then the DLC, we get Oswald, continue the story. You can upgrade your hourglass to level four, and then you can break down and craft new items. So that seems to be the update in a whole. Let's quickly take a look at what the community thinks. Uh, I put thank you, excited for everything. I'm super excited for the update. I can't wait to dive. We have literally just a couple more days. We got probably, uh, probably sent by here. All premium shop refresh shits will have eight options. We can preview premium clothing on our avatar and fix the furniture mode camera. I love what I am seeing. I agree. I agree 100%. Do you have to pay for part two? No. So if you own the expansion, you don't have to pay for part two. But if you don't own a Rift in Time, you will. And I also think it's still on sale. Uh, Disney said, thank you. I still feel like it was a glitch and not a purposeful feature, but I'm so happy it's now reverted. Yeah, so fixing the whole camera mode thing is back, which is going to be nice because I guess that was uh, affecting a lot of people. I never really had that issue too much on PC. I never really uh, noticed at least, but I know a lot of people did have an issue with that. So it's really nice that's being fixed. As you can see, thank you for fixing the furniture mode camera. And this is one of those things, you know, we see it brought up a lot. But Gameloft, even though they don't communicate with us a lot, they usually already know and have plans to fix these things. So it's always good to submit the bugs and the issues through their official ways of doing it. And uh, I'm glad that they listened to the community on this and they got it fixed up for us. So I hope you guys have the best day ever. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll be sure to read through them. Hope you guys have the best day ever and I'll see you in the next one.